Watch. Yeah. See how my line slack right here? Yep. So you lift it just so it barely comes off the bottom. I mean, just barely off the bottom. And you... oh my gosh, who wants to reel him? Is he? This is. <laughs> I. Wow. That's yeah, insane. That's you got to keep going, though. Yep. This is not staged. <laughs> I, yeah. Right here. Oh, yeah. yeah keep uh, it right there. Just so it doesn't. Yep. Don't pump. Just real. Man, that is that was <laughs> right away. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's showing us how to. <laughs> <laughs> this, is how, this is how we got the last week. He when said we were going to slay fish. Down there? Yeah, oh, Hunter, dude. come look at this. It's just a little dude. Yeah. So you get about right here. It's usually right there is what I just... Okay. Yeah, if it's a small fish like this, you can. Jeez, that is so First cool. fish, literally 30 seconds in the fishing. Yeah, look at me at that. Yeah, watch your. There you go. Yep. We call these. Man. We call these fish pups. Yeah, not not too big or anything like that. Well, show the camera the teeth. It's a small fish, but look at the teeth that this guy's got. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. So I didn't even really get to show you guys no. like how to how I normally jig, but I just dropped it to the bottom and let it sit there, and they it came and and picked it up. Yeah, he was showing us like he put slack in the line, knowing you're on the bottom, lifts it a few inches off bottom, and then they can just drill it. I mean, on the graph, there was that was a minute in. He was just, first time getting down. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was fish halfway down the water column almost, and then as soon as he got to the bottom, fish just showed up out of nowhere. And we're in 72 feet of water. God, <laughs> Grant's hooked up right in the first thing in the morning. Oh, there he is, Hunter. It's a 10 pounder. <laughs> Which isn't like that big out here, but it's so cool for us. Gosh. Hunter, that, that fish is 13 pounds. Is he? He's big. He's big. He's big. I told you he, he was going to come down and eat. Well, because you're like, hold it there, hold it there. He came off, but he's right there. Right back down to the abyss. Ah, oh, look at that. Tube jig. I'm not too bummed out. I'm glad I was able to see it, but the fish are super, super active right now. He's big. Is he? Yeah. Well, he's big for what I think is big, but he came in. Grant, put some bend in that rod. But yeah, get it off the wall. get it off that ice, dude. Oh, easy, oh, easy. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Pressure. Take a step back. Oh, you got one in there? So this video for a change, I was actually catching more fish than Hunter, but I couldn't get any of them up. Like literally. That is the story of this trip. Shane has gotten us on fish and we've done good. I mean, how many have we caught? I think we've caught three. Three? But if we would have landed them all, I mean... We would have had probably eight, eight or nine. Which could have, should have, would have. But it's been fun, and basically this video, unless we get a huge tank, is just going to be us catching fish and them coming off. So, yeah. whatever. Yeah, hope, I mean, hope you enjoyed it. It's not <laughs> over yet. We're actually going to move spots right now and fish in 100 feet of water and 50 feet now. I mean, those fish... Honestly, I'm not that bummed out that they came off. It's just the thrill of being able to see them and catch them in this deep of water. And big thanks to Shane at Recon Angling for getting us on fish and making time in his, on his birthday weekend to take us out fishing. So if you do want to come out with Shane, open water or ice, we'll put down all his contact information in the description. He's been... Oh! Hey, stop, stop. I don't care if you lose him. Hooked up. This film one's fighting good. Hunter, there's some weight here. I just started filming the uh, graph too. Boy, this is a good one. There's some weight here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a good one, probably a six, seven pounder. I'll just put yours down, come over here. I don't want it to get pulled in. Oh yes. That's a good one. Grant, watch that hook, just pull them out with the rod. He's got that big one. Oh, that is cool. Look at how. Awesome. You can see there he ate it head first. That's why Shane uh, uses the double hooks. Uh, 
It just hooked you. Yeah. How's that working? Too big. I'm not going to keep them, so I'm going to put them back. And they burp up as they come up, so you're able to safely release them. Day one update. We, how many did you catch? I caught, uh, the first one I caught was actually the first lake trout I've ever caught. It wasn't super big. What they call it here are pups, so they're not, they're anything under 28 inches. So it was a perfect keeper. Uh, the second one I caught was probably around seven, eight pounds. I threw that one back because it was just too big for the one that I would want to keep. Um, I think those smaller fish between three, three, four pounds are the perfect ones to keep. Uh, we had a lot of fish that we were able to get up off the bottom, have them chase them up and down because this body of water is a lot different than Lake Superior is. And Lake Superior, I mean, they'll sit and chase you up and down and smack it. They'll uh, bite it a lot different than they do out here. This, you have to just basically hold it. It's crazy that Shane Boy was explaining it. But anyways, cutting till two tomorrow, we're going after that one big bite um not numbers either go big or go home but the big fish are 20 to 30 pounds even maybe bigger yeah so stay tuned and should be a good show tomorrow we might make this into one video we might break it up so we'll just have to see yeah stay tuned thanks for watching hit the video uh give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you know when our videos upload thanks for watching and we'll catch everyone in the next video